Before I begin, I have to disappoint the people who really hate your writing by making it clear that I agree with you in a few ways. First is that the buildings you use as examples of ugly buildings, I agree, they are ugly. And the second way that I know I agree with you is in saying that the fetish for neoclassical among right-wingers is really probably a result or a symptom of white supremacy. Where I think I agree with you is that the designers themselves aren't the ones who need to be moved. It's rather the institutions who approve the designs, who commission the designs. Because, you know, even if we were to convince 99% of designers, you know, if they were to be convinced of your points, by your points, the institutions would still find people who are willing to design ugly type buildings for them. So really the people who need to be moved aren't the designers themselves, but the public at large. And I think your writings have had a positive effect, whatever the magnitude, have had a positive effect in that direction. But where I disagree with you is in the prioritization. All right, for every one of these remarkable ugly type buildings, we get another half dozen super center uh, parking lots and we get another 10 miles of uh, detached single family housing in the suburbs. And you've probably already heard, but there are a lot of very serious downsides to, to this sort of construction compared to the remarkable, very easy to point out, ugly buildings in cities. And one of the downsides is um, reduced accessibility because everything's farther apart. Uh, less walkability, obviously. There is worsened air quality and uh, temperature. And of course, there are more deaths in roadside accidents because everybody has to drive a car. So, you know, these recent or easy to point out ugly buildings in cities, well, they're remarkable and they kind of grab our attention just by their nature. But to me, our attention really would be better spent you know, addressing the much less remarkable endemic, you know, much more endemic endless expanses of, uh, of asphalt wastelands that are the uh, post-war car-dependent suburb. Anyway, thank you.